this is the story of the biggest haul that I've ever pulled. Hey, so welcome to the Analog Life, and this is me in late April traveling down to Edmonton um, in the middle of a snowstorm in Alberta in April. But that's just Alberta. Anyway, so I arrive in Edmonton and I met with this beautiful, wonderful collection of Betamax tapes. Betamax tapes, guys. Amazing. This was about 160 tapes in total. Can you believe that? And it also came with this old uh, Betamax player that was faulty actually. So all this cost me $20 and I load up my vehicle and I head off to my next stop. So look guys, look, I finally arrived here for the enlarger. That's the enlarger and that's the owner. <laughs> that's Paul. Paul used to work on with film, uh, developed film in the past and that's his beautiful wife, <laughs> his lovely wife, <laughs> and look at all the stuff that it came with. Oh my gosh, it's a whole treasure trove of stuff, <laughs> and I'm so grateful. Okay guys, that was so awesome, such nice people guys, so nice, they're such nice people, I love nice wholesome people. Uh, just deal, do, doing business with, with them was such a pleasure. We had a chat and I got to know a bit more about them. They actually gave me stuff to send to some folks. You see the little box over there? That's a little uh, thing they gave me to a parcel that I have to send to a friend of theirs in my town. So I travel four or five hours to come collect all this stuff and I'm going back with stuff as well and that's a sense of community I just feel so blessed to to be here and to relate with people like this such really nice people I tell you guys it pays to be nice and I just I just wish that you know I was sitting in my car just thinking about it as a black man going to a, a white family and them being so nice and just us respecting and loving and just showing each other our, our, our humanity. And I just pray that the world will become more like that, you know, where we can, we can just, there's so much that we can get out of this world. If only we could respect each other. And I tell you, these are nice people. Nice people. And I'm so glad that I got to meet them. I feel so good. Not just because I got this at a really good price, which I did. I got all that stuff for a hundred dollars. But also because I feel full. Like, um... It feels like I've known them all, all this time, and I barely know them. It's really amazing. So, so far the experience, guys, is awesome. And now, I'm actually going to just hang around town a bit because my next stop is at 5.30. It's now uh, 3.30 p.m. here. So I'm gonna uh, visit a couple thrift stores. Um, and then just to while the time until my next stop. The next stop is the stereo equipment. So I'm on this guys. I am on this and I'm excited. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. This is really awesome. That's fun. So, so now I'm at the Goodwill store here in Edmonton. And, and I'm all messed up. And I'm just going to go into the store. I have to wait here. So I must say that um, the selection there wasn't that good. So, you know, but it was, it, was, it, was, it was a good experience, you know, so. And now I'm at my favorite antique mall, which is the old Strapona antique mall right there. I'm just gonna walk in and see what they have. Wow, and just like that guys, right at the entrance, look at what welcomes me. Look at this sick device. 
Holy cow, that looks really nice. For ninety dollars? Yes, please. Now, of course, I did buy that, and this is the antique mall, the inside of the old Strathcona antique mall, my, one of my favorite places to be, to be honest. And as you can see, it's got a ton of good, good stuff, from furniture to vases to magazines, old stuff. Uh, it's just, it's just a really wonderful place to be. Uh, usually my focus is on multimedia and electronics and film cameras but to be honest I actually stopped buying film cameras because um, I think I have way too many cameras now and that's actually going to be discussed in another episode now my focus is more on stereo equipment and uh, cassette tapes and all kinds of media so I pass by the camera section because I have the majority of these cameras to be honest and I really am um, sort of content with what I have now. <laughs> it took over 300 cameras to get me there but I am there now. <laughs> this is some form of a print and press. Hey guys so if you can just ignore the, the marks on my face from wearing a mask pretty much all day. Oh boy, what a successful trip this has been so far. I must say that it's been wonderful. I just, um, I'm sitting in the parking lot of the old Strathcona Antique Mall, which is my favorite antique mall, as I said. And I got some amazing loot. Um, I bought some comics from my son, who is really into comics. And I also got this really awesome Akai turntable. One thing that I don't have is a good turntable for playing my records. But I think finally I got a really nice quality turntable. And also I picked up um, 70, 270 watt speakers, Sony 70 watt speakers, um, which I'm gonna show right here for my man cave or the house and um, also picked up um, this really cool looking uh, Toshiba stereo system it's like a portable stereo system um, and I tested it but it looks like the cassette part is not working they were selling it for $90 so I took the risk to still buy it the radio portion works uh, the cassette portion doesn't work and I plan to open it up to see if I can fix it. Most likely I'll be able to fix it by replacing the belt. Usually that's what's wrong with these devices. And if it does work though, that's a big one because that, I'm going to be so happy with it because um, this stereo system is heavy duty. It's really heavy, very, very heavy and it feels like quality. So, I look forward to playing with it to see if I can fix it. What else did I get? I almost bought this really cool looking um, amplifier from Pioneer, but I decided against it. I thought it was a bit too much money. So anyway, so far it's been a really successful one. Uh, there's one more stop, which is to pick up that stereo system. I think it was a Sansui uh, stereo system. The appointment is for 5.30 and it's now 5.20, so I better be get going. Okay, I'll update you guys later. So, this is the collection of stuff that I got on this epic, epic journey. I got a 160 Betamax tapes with this Betamax player for $20. That was just amazing guys that is just incredible I'm so excited also picked up this Wizard of Oz and X-Files um, VHS for my kids well mostly the Wizard of Oz for my kids but the X-Files that's for me and uh, a bunch of comics for my son and and my daughter as well they are into comics right now um, I thought that they would enjoy it so something for the kids too and this is the enlarger kit that I bought. It came with this uh, Rodenstock lens. I think that was 50 millimeters. Um, and uh, it's a pretty decent quality lens. 
um, I'm yet to test it out so I can't tell if it's really that hot but this one here those two tanks that you see those are the daylight developing tanks and all kinds of accessories and easels that this came with also came with this special timer that does not light up which is important if you're doing color developing or printing this pair of Sony uh, speakers stereo speakers just beautiful beautiful uh, speakers really sound amazing and there you have it guys that's all the wonderful things that I was able to pick up in this amazing epic epic journey I hope you did enjoy this episode if you did why don't you leave this video a like and by all means do subscribe to this channel for more content Take care, guys.